Trump suddenly leaves Memorial Day address, you won't believe where he just showed up, as customary President Donald Trump laid the wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier today. He then gave a heartfelt speech in where he went as far as promising the American people that he would get to the bottom of and find out who the unknown soldier actually was. That's a pretty hefty goal, but let us be honest with ourselves, if anyone can do it, President Donald Trump can. But President Donald Trump didn't just go through the steps of the normal ceremonies that are required of an American president on Memorial Day. After giving his heartfelt speech at the wreath-laying ceremony at Arlington Cemetery today, he abruptly left and actually took the time to make his way to Section 60, which is dedicated to the soldiers lost to the War on Terror after the 2001 World Trade Center and Pentagon attacks. Fallen soldiers from both the Afghanistan and Iraq wars are buried in Section 60. And because President Trump is actually on our side in the War on Terror, he even took the time to speak with the Gold Star families while he was there. When he arrived at Section 60 he met with Gold Star families and consoled them. One of the mothers told him that during one of the last conversations with her son he told her that he didn't want people to forget that he lived. He replied by giving her a hug and telling her that her son was up in heaven looking at her and smiling. After that Vice President Mike Pence said a few words to her and also gave her a hug. What a distinct contrast with what we had before in former President Barack Hussein Obama as our president for eight long and dark years. Obama would spend Memorial Day a little differently than President Trump does, stunning. President Obama decides to play golf on Memorial Day. 70th time during his presidency. What can one possibly say, he's incredibly insensitive or he just doesn't give a damn about anyone but himself? The short answer is yes to both questions. We are in the middle of war on three fronts, the Congress just passed the Unconstitutional Patriot Act, talk about an oxymoron. The Midwest, Joplin in particular, is in chaos and peer resident Abuma goes golfing on Memorial Day. BTW, this jerk went golfing during Memorial Day 2009 as well where, White House aides told reporters that the president paused at 3 p.m. to observe a moment of silent prayer. Yep, a moment of prayer in the middle of his four-hour game. Jackass. I'm sure military families and servicemen and women across the globe were mighty impressed with Obama's humility and devotion to this country. Anyone besides me who wants to give him a smack on the side of the head. Lest anyone forget, President Bush gave up golf while he was in the White House because we were at war and out of respect for all military families. After all the traveling BHO has engaged in during the past month, does anyone think it was too great a task to spend the entire day remembering the fallen of this country? What a lack of leadership. What a lack of class. The following is from the British news outlet, The Telegraph, contrasts this with President Obama's decision to play golf yesterday, Memorial Day, for the 70th time during his 28-month-long presidency. For tens of millions of Americans, Memorial Day is a time for remembrance of the huge sacrifices made by servicemen and women on the battlefield. The president did pay his respects in the morning laying a wreath at the tomb of the unknowns at Arlington National Cemetery, but later in the day traveled to Fort Belvoir to play golf. The story has not been reported so far in a single U.S. newspaper, but was made public by veteran White House correspondent Keith Cuffler on his blog. Anyone placing bets whether MSNBC or CNN reports this. Please America, I beg you. Never again elect an anti-American and anti-military charlatan like Barack Hussein Obama to the U.S. presidency. Never mind the fact he had no qualifications nor ever held a real job in his entire life, just by name alone we should have known he didn't care about any of us Americans. If you are proud to have President Trump as our president, please share. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.